to show your identity other than you being Miss Ann. Yeah, yeah. According to the knowledge that I have about y'all, you and Brother James, y'all was kin to us on the Davis side pertaining to Jimmy Dale. Yeah, yeah. How do you, can you tell me how that become? I don't know unless it was his mother. See, his mother was uh, uh, my husband's half-brother. I mean, sister. Jimmy Dale's mother. Uh huh. That's how we become associated. Yeah. With you then. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah. Now, how long was you and James married before he passed away? Forty-five years, fifty years, sixty years. Been all your life. I had to count it. <laughs> how old are you right now? Eighty-nine. Be ninety in April. Well, the Lord's been good to you, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. Towards giving you your health and stuff, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. How long, what, what year did James die in? Seemed like he died in 93, 94? 1995? I'd have he to died know. before 2000, didn't he? Yeah, no, I think it was 2002. 2002, in other words, he seen 9-11? Yeah. Y'all seen 9-11 together on, on the news whenever the airplanes run into the buildings? Yeah. He was living then? Okay. Now, you got one son by the name of Daryl. Is he still living? Oh, yeah. He's Where's Greenfield. Is he living in Greenfield? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you had a daughter. What was her name? Carolyn. Carolyn. She lives at Greenfield. She lives at Greenfield, too? Yeah. Now, was she the one that lived in Dover, Tennessee at one time? No, I don't think so. Who was the one that lived in Dover, Tennessee? Uh, not my kids. Maybe not. Uh -uh. Is that the only two children that you have? No, I had James Lynn, the oldest one. He lived in Mayfield, Kentucky. Do I, have I ever met him before? I, I don't know. <clears throat> I've got pictures of them, but I don't know if That's you... okay. That's okay. Okay. All right. Do you remember in 1989, whenever I had all those horses in the back end of my truck, and I was out here preaching the gospel and going to places and stuff, and I had that windmill in the back end of my truck, and I pulled up here at this little white church, and I got associated with y'all, and I started coming every Sunday because I felt a calling in my life from God. But the bunch got nervous about me coming out there because of that big outfit that I had in the back end of my truck. And they basically pulled me to the side over there in that office. And I think Brother James, your husband, was in on the meeting. And they set me down and said, Dennis, you're welcome to come here as a visitor or a guest. Or a guest. But the message that you have is not welcome here. And a matter of fact, if you don't take that instrument out of the back end of your truck, you're not welcome to park your truck on our parking lot because people's going to get to thinking that we're in cahoots with you towards every time they come by here on Sunday, they're going to see your truck out here with a windmill, all them big outfit windmills on it, and they're going to think that we're in cahoots. And I stopped going to church since then, Sister Ann, because I felt like that I was treated as an outcast. Do you by chance remember the preacher that was preaching during that time? I believe he was from Missouri, and he had every time he would preach, he would go, Hoo! he would, he would, he he would, he would Was it was that A Vance? Brother A Vance. Mm -hmm. That was him. What was his first name? Charles. Charlie Advance. Mm -hmm. Is he still living? He's in Missouri. He's back in Missouri now? Oh yeah, he was he went there from here. Oh he did? Yeah, he had a church over there, and I know now who you are. You remember me now? Yeah. Yeah, I know now who you are. I'm Juby. Yeah. De uh Dennis. Don't you have a flag in the back? Didn't you have a flag? Yeah. Yeah. 
So you remember the meeting that that they all had up here in the church towards Brother A. Vance and your husband, and I guess it was four or five, maybe six or seven other deacons that sat down and had a little powwow with me. I don't, I don't know that I remember that. Well, it occurred. I promise you, it did. I have no need to lie. No, that's right. Yeah. I have no reason to want to lie about it. No, that's true. And it's not that I'm trying to uh, dig up old bones. It's just that I want to get my numbers right. I want to make sure I get my testimony correct. Yeah. That way it's not just me talking, but it's other people to help to verify. You do remember me coming to your church yeah. all summer long. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. and then long about the fall I quit coming. There was a reason why that I quit coming. Now you may have forgotten about it or you may not have actually known about the meeting. You I don't, may not have known about the meeting. I don't know. Uh I do remember you though uh having stuff in the back of your car. You do remember that? I the do back remember of my truck. That. Yeah, Juby. Yeah, Juby. And you lived down at Sidonia. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And you do remember Jimmy Dale? Oh, gosh, he's my cousin. Is Jimmy Dale still living? Oh, yeah. You know, he had that bad wreck. Yes. Yeah, cut his leg, one leg off. Yes, and he sold that nice house that he had down there in Sidonia. Where's he living at now? Yeah, but he bought a better one up here at Martin by the school. By Westview School? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Westview School? Right across from Westview School. Right across from Westview School? Uh -huh. Really? Yeah, he, he owns a nice home now. Is he still married to Linda? Yeah. Yeah. You remember Linda? Well, yeah. How's, how, is he your first cousin? Yeah. Your first cousin? No, he's my husband's. First cousin? Yeah. Yeah. But you still associate with him as far as being part of your family? Well, I give him a set of earrings, uh, uh, not earrings, uh, hair and aids. I give him a set of hair and aids here the other day. You did? Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't wear them. Okay. And uh, I had bought, I think I gave 200 and something for him. And uh, he could wear them, so I give them to him. I see. Yeah. Now I'm buying me another pair from uh, this right here. This outfit here? Bell tone. Okay. But you're 89. When are you going to be 90? April. So you've got a birthday coming up. Why, well, yeah. Any day, any time. Yeah. Well, the next three months mm -hmm. in April. Mm -hmm. Now, how old is Daryl? Is he 60 yet? Uh, I believe he is. I think he's a little older than me. See, I'm 59. I think me and your daughter's more the same age. I'm 59. How old is she? I know your mind ain't as good as what it used to be. I, I understand, Miss Ann. <laughs> How long did you work out here at the nursing home here in Dresden? I retired there. So, But how long did you actually work well, there? About 20-some years. You remember Miss Aldell, my oh, grandmother? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Aldell Jackson. Matter of fact, it was you that helped to take care of her yeah. during the time that she was there because she was there for a long period of time. She was there for almost 13 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've told me some horror stories about what went on out there in that nursing home before. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you were supposed to have let that information out or not pertaining to what went on back years ago. But it's not just that nursing home. It's all of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all of them. And thank God you ain't in a nursing home right now. Thank God you're not in a nursing home right I now. I don't want to be. I, I don't blame you after working in one for 25 years. I, I, I don't. Uh, uh, I don't want. Now, don't you got a son-in-law or something that used to be a cop up here in Martin? Still I mean, there. at Greenfield? Still there. Still there? What's his name? Uh... Well, it takes me a while to think of stuff. That's okay. Joey. Joey Radford. Okay, how's he kin to you? He married my cousin. Okay. Carrie. 
Carrie. Okay. That's Carolyn's daughter. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. They're going to open a restaurant up here at Greenfield. Is that the one that's called Wimpy's? Who? Wimpy's? Is it called Wimpy's? No. It's not open yet. I don't know what they'll call it. Okay. But it was Joe Radford. Do you know Joe? A little bit. Well, uh, it was his building, and he sold it to them. Okay. Yeah. Whenever James was farming, how many acres was he farming out here? Do you remember? There's two, two up here and two back there. I guess two and two is four. I know, but how many acres? I guess that's uh, four, about four acres, I guess. No. He used to own this whole bottom back in here, didn't he? I don't know. Didn't y'all used to own this property way back here? I don't know. In behind you? Which I still own. I don't own it. I give it to my kids. I understand. But it's still in the family. Yeah, four, two acres back here and two acres up here. Okay. But at one time, y'all used to have a whole lot more land. I don't know that. I, I don't remember that. Yeah. Well, I was going to ask you about, about the preacher's name. And I was going to ask you a few other things. The preacher that's down there now, what's his name? Uh... uh It'd take me a minute to think of it. <laughs> but anyways, he seems like a good man. He talked to me for about an hour down there in the parking lot. He seems like a very versed man. He's a good preacher. Is he? Yeah, he's a good preacher. Preaches against fear. Yeah. Fear. And, he, and he was in the military for a while. Yeah. And uh, he seems like a real smart guy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Sure does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to go to Jackson. Right. I don't know. But you hearing aids? Yeah. But he can't get my phone. Can't nobody hardly get my phone. So I may have to call him. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, listen, I got to go. And I appreciate you talking to me. You care if we we go in a prayer real quick? No. No, I don't care. Father, eternal God, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, God, to be able to come, Sister Ann, and for you blessing her and keeping thy guiding hand upon her during the years thank since you, her husband, James, has passed away. Yeah. Just pray, God, that you will continue to be with her. Yeah. Pray, God, for her family. Pray, God, that you'll give her the strength to overcome and to do only your will in Jesus' name. We thank amen. the God in heaven for all, and amen. Do you see a phone number? Let me look real quick. Down here that I could call. If you did, I'm going to write it down and uh, call him because I know he can't call me. Uh, there's actually a bunch of telephone numbers here. And they've marked off the one here in Jackson. It's 731. Wait just a minute. Whoop, 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 wait just a minute. That's okay. My... Okay. It's North Highland, 731 664. 664. Uh -huh. Okay. 44. 44. 08. 08. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll call that after a while. They got an X right there. They got an X right there. And if you'll go across to the right-hand side, you'll see where their facility is. It's there on North Highland in Jackson, Tennessee. Yeah, Daryl will take me. Just give them a call. Yeah, yeah, Daryl will call me. So Give them um, a call. They'll, they'll be able to help you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll Sister Ann, God bless you, and I appreciate you talking to me. Yep, yep, yep. But you do remember my truck and you do remember those obstacles that I had in the back end of my truck, those oh, instruments. Yeah, yeah. You had a flag in there one time. Didn't yeah. You? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It created a lot of drama in the area towards people being against me. 
Sure did. Yeah. And people were still against the truth. To this day, living down there in Sidonia, people are still against me. You Man. think I'll ever be able to establish any type of a, a congregation or a support team in this area? Or do you think I'll have to move off and maybe go to a big city somewhere or go out west? I don't know. I don't know how people feel. But I do know they notice flags and stuff in the back of the truck. Yeah, they do do that. They do that. You see the black top and everything he poured down there? Done an excellent job. Yeah, yeah. They poured my my part of the yard that went through the church, you know, yeah. they poured it. Yeah. And they wanted, uh, how much was that? 2700 to run it on up here. But I didn't see spending that for that. Well, that's up to you. It's your money. But it would have made your house more valuable. Yeah, well, that don't matter. It's a kid's house anyway. <laughs> well, you'd have, just, you'd have just fixed them a better place to drive up and down. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but you can spend your money the way you want to spend it and spend it on whatever you want to spend it on. Yeah. That's the truth. Yep. Well, I'm going to get on and thank you for talking to me and allowing for me to come in here and talk to you. Yep. It's been a long time. You you do remember my dad. Oh, yeah. Mother. Yeah. Bobby. Yeah. How long, how long have you known dad? Ever since he was knee high to a grasshopper? <laughs> no. No, was you and Dad about the same age? We might have been, but now, let me tell you something. We moved here when our kids was a little. Okay. And I knew him ever since then. Okay. Ever since the kids started to school. So that was about 50 years ago. Yeah. Long time. And somebody will say, do you still live there? Well, why not? Right. It's free. Right. It's paid for, isn't it? Yeah. yeah you yeah. worked for it and you paid for it. Been paid for it for years and years and years. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So how long did you know Miss Aldell from the time you moved out here too? Or did you know her from years, years back? Oh, probably from years because, see, I worked at the nursing home before we moved here. You did. Oh, I worked there a long time. Yeah. Did you ever work at the Milan Arsenal? No. I worked at the college. UTM College? Yeah. I you, worked in at, Martin? Yeah. What'd you do over there? Custodian? Uh, I imagine I did. Clean up? Oh, yeah. Clean up. Clean up. And I had a doggone good job, and James got jealous, I guess. I was working nights. I see. And he told me if I didn't quit that he was leaving. Really? And I said, what? Leaving? He said, I want you to quit, so I quit. And when I quit, he, he liked had it then. He said, you had the best thing going ever was. I said, well, why didn't you keep your mouth shut then? I'd have kept it. But he was afraid he'd lose me, I guess. I don't know. Huh. So, anyway. Well, sometimes the old devil gets in people's minds, and the next thing you know, he'll go to working on them. I and know. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It was jealousy that the devil was putting up putting in his heart, thinking that you was going to get tied up with somebody else. You I wasn't studying nobody else, was you? I didn't you? want none of them darn men. You wasn't studying nobody else, was I you? I know. I knew that. I wondered if you, I'll have to go get Daryl to do that, because uh, that doctor knows Daryl. So yeah. I'll go up there and get Daryl to uh, call him. Sure. And see if he's been trying to call me. Okay. If he has, well, I'll find out what day he wants me to come down there. Absolutely. It's been good talking to you, Sister yeah, Ann. You too. You too.